this first day's exercises, we're going to be looking at breathing. And those of you that were on the webinar on Sunday will know that I put a pretty high, um, I set a high store by the importance of the breath. Um, when I started my yoga teacher training journey, one of the most profound things that I learned was how to breathe properly and the fact that I'd spent so much of my life not breathing properly. When we breathe, we take in nutrients that our body needs and when we breathe out, we release the waste products that our body doesn't need anymore and we let go. Most of us adults don't breathe properly. And this means that we are not nourishing our body on many levels. We're not nourishing ourselves at a physical level uh, because we're not taking in enough oxygen. So at a purely functional level, we're not, um, not giving our body the oxygen it needs. And every single one of our cells, we have millions, billions of cells in our body. Every single one of those cells needs oxygen. So when we don't breathe deeply and properly, we're not taking in enough oxygen. So our muscles can't work properly, our organs can't work properly, our blood doesn't function properly. Nothing works quite right when we don't breathe properly. At a, at a, and the central nervous system is affected when we don't breathe properly as well because breathing deeply helps to calm the nervous system and it helps us to be in, a, in the parasympathetic nervous system which is the calm, relaxed, you know, there's no saber-toothed tigers chasing us frame of mind that we should be in most of the time. When we don't breathe deeply, we, it puts our body into a naturally stressed state, into our sympathetic nervous system, which is the flight or fight um, response in the stress, um, st stress response. Most of the time we're, we're breathing very shallow breaths and we tend to all live quite high pressure, high stress lives. So it's no wonder that we have high levels of anxiety, of depression, of people just not dealing with day to day life. Because on top of this high powered, high, high stress life we're living, we're not breathing properly. So we, we our bodies are ready primed to be in this stressed out state the state that our primitive ancestors used to escape the predators and to the you know the to escape from being attacked it's the state that you would that would need to be in if you were under physical threat if your life was at risk but most of the time our lives aren't at risk we're just very stressed. So if we can learn to slow the breath down, take deeper, slower, more, more present breaths, we can calm our body down and get our bodies into a better state of being. We can also take better care of our minds and our, our mental health when we breathe because obviously being stressed has a huge impact on our mind and on our mental health. When we exist in this state of stress all the time, it really takes its toll on our mental health. And we see now, we've seen, a, I think, a massive rise in mental health problems, or maybe it's greater awareness, I'm not entirely sure, but there certainly seems to be a massive problem of mental health uh, com complications in the vast population. Um, learning to breathe can help ward off depression, anxiety, it can reduce um, immediate negative responses to things because it gives you that time out to step back and consider your response to a situation instead of immediately flying off the handle and reacting possibly in a way that you wouldn't want to react. Um, I don't know how many times I, in the past, I reacted to something and then an hour later I thought, oh God, I wish I hadn't said that, I wish I hadn't done that, by which time it's, of course, done and said and sometimes you can't repair the damage. 
since I've learned how to breathe, that doesn't tend to happen so much. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure how often it does happen anymore. My responses to difficult situations are far more measured these days, whereas before I was very much the fly off the handle and start screaming before I start thinking kind of person. So learning to breathe properly can benefit our physical health and our mental health and of course stress as well. Don't forget stress causes physical health complications as well. We all know that stress finds its way into the body and so constant stress will take its toll on our physical health as well. So if we can find a way to deal with physical and mental um, stress and the complications caused by that, then that's obviously going to make us happier. Um, we can also, through, through learning to breathe properly as well, you'll also improve your sleep. You'll have more energy because your muscles will have more oxygen. They'll be working better. You'll be able to move better. Everything will work better in your body if you learn to breathe correctly. So I'm going to take you through now just a simple sukha pranayama, which is a very simple breathing technique. And when the only goal is to get the breath equal length and to aim to six seconds count on the inhalation and the exhalation. We're going to breathe into the whole of the lungs. So we're trying to concentrate on taking the air down the down in the lungs instead of just breathing into the chest here we want to take the air down so that we're breathing into the bottom part of the lung as well as into the top and I'm bringing my hands together in a posture called yoga mudra I bring my hands like that and then take them down into my lap I'm going to sit with a nice straight back close my eyes and we're just going to breathe in and out through the nostrils Obviously, if you can't breathe in through your nose for any reason, then breathe in through the mouth. But if you can breathe through your nose, that will be much better for you. Uh, it'll lead to a much cleaner, better and easier to control breath. So we're going to just take three breaths, breathing in and out through the nose, breathing deep down into the lungs. So breathing in, two, three, four, five, six out two three four five six in two three four five six out two three four five six in two three four five six out two three four five six and now just slowly open your eyes and give your shoulders a little shake and come back and now throughout the day as you go through your day try and every now and then just notice your breath when you bring awareness to your breath to anything you do as soon as you start to become aware of what you're doing it becomes easier to make it different so when you sat at your desk in work when you're washing the dishes when you're driving your car just notice your breath and see if you can take a little bit of time just to try and slow the breath down it's particularly good if you're in the car um, and stuck in traffic perhaps when you're stuck in traffic instead of getting stressed out about being late or being just being caught in traffic Try taking a few deep breaths and then see if that helps you to calm down. Bringing awareness to your breath and thinking about slowing the breath down whenever you can will pay dividends. Um, it will help you to feel calmer. It will help you to feel more energy. It will help you to sleep. And it will, in the longer term, help you to stay calmer and just be in a more centred, grounded space. When we're focusing on the breath, we are in the present moment. We are completely in the here and now. There is no space for worrying about the past or worrying about the present. It's a very grounding practice and it brings you right here, right now into the present moment. And that is the 
great a great way to start on this road to happiness so I hope that this has been really helpful to you today. If you have any questions that you'd like to ask me about this, about this practice, about the breath, pop into the Facebook group. Um, I'll put a link underneath this video to the Facebook group if you're not already in there. And you can ask me any questions you like. You can message me if you'd like to ask me privately. And I will do my very best to answer. And tomorrow we're going to be looking at our perceptions of things and how we can affect our thoughts and how we can change our thoughts when we're dwelling on the negative a little bit too much. So happy breathing and enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.